What's going on everyone? This is Steven Robles and today I want to show you one of the coolest new features in Final Cut Pro on the Mac. There was a recent update, Final Cut 10.6.2, and it had optimizations for the Mac Studio, which those are welcome. I've actually noticed some performance improvements, especially in the middle of editing and some faster export times. I just have the M1 Max Mac Studio, but still have seen some improvement there. But the killer feature that has come to Final Cut, whether you have the Mac Studio or not, is voice isolation. Now Final Cut has had a noise reduction feature where you can try to eliminate background noise and you can try to crank it up, but sometimes it could start sounding robotic and it wasn't great. A lot of times people would use third party plugins like from Isotope, like their RX9 suite. They have some noise reductions and deverbs and those work pretty well and I use those in some of my videos, but now that I've been using the voice isolation feature in Final Cut, honestly, I'm not sure if you need some of those plugins. Now obviously, those plugins have a lot more features, not just noise removal and deverb and things like that. But if that was the main reason why you were looking at those plugins, the voice isolation feature in Final Cut is really incredible. So we're going to show you some examples, have an echoey environment and a couple with background noise and show you where this feature is in Final Cut. If you're in the here, the Final Cut window, I don't know what kind of face I'm making there, but this is my smart home light switch video. Click one of your audio clips right here, and then in the top right, you know, you got your video, transform stuff, you have your coloring, saturation, all that. And then in the sound tab, you have the noise removal. That's the older feature. Noise removal is still there. You have loudness, and then above that is now voice isolation. It's just a single checkbox. There's not a lot of sliders you have to mess with. There's just one, and you can change the amount for the voice isolation. You can go crank it up or down. So here's a couple clips. I'll show you what it sounds like. This first one I did, I actually had a fan in the bedroom testing the final cut voice isolation feature you can hear the fan in the background and if i went over to the sound tab before there was that noise removal tool testing the final cut voice isolation feature i have a fan here running on high and i'll play it with the fan. noise removal does pretty good there but now i'm going to switch to the voice isolation i'm actually going to crank it up because it doesn't really sound robotic even if you crank it i mean if you get all the way to 100 percent it starts getting a little weird but let's try this Final Cut voice isolation feature. I have a fan here running on high and I'll play it. I think it sounds really good. I have another video clip here and I actually played some construction noises on my home pods. Apparently Apple Music has some sound effects like that. So it sounds like this. All right, here's one more test. I'm actually playing some construction sounds on my home pod speakers. Pretend like I'm on a city street and we'll run this audio raw. All right, now let's try the noise removal real quick. Construction sounds on my home pod speakers. Pretend like I'm on a city street and we'll run. So you still hear a lot of those background noises because it's not consistent like that fan noise. You got a lot of different kinds of noises going on. I'm going to crank up the noise removal just to see what happens. Let's go up to 80%. Yes, I'm actually playing some construction sounds on my home pod speakers. Pretend like I'm on a city street and we'll run this audio raw and then we'll try the noise reduction. So it's okay. Again, you hear some of that background noise. I'm starting to sound a little weird, but let's now try the voice isolation. And I'm going to crank that one up to 80, just like the noise removal tool. Let's see how that sounds. Here's one more test. I'm actually playing some construction sounds on my HomePod speakers. Pretend like I'm on a city street and we'll run this audio raw. And then we'll try the noise reduction feature from Final Cut. It's really impressive. Even with a lot of random noises in the background, things clanging, really focuses on the voice. And you do hear some background noise still, of course but I think it does a great job, way better than the noise removal tool. So here's some back-to-back -back comparisons of those environments and an echoey environment. All right, here we are testing the Final Cut voice isolation feature. I have a fan here running on high and I'll play it with the fan noise, no voice isolation, the noise reduction, the older feature from Final Cut and the new voice isolation feature. All right, here we are testing the Final Cut voice isolation feature. I have a fan here running on high and I'll play it with the fan noise, no voice isolation, the noise reduction, the older feature from Final Cut, and the new voice isolation feature. All right, here we are testing the Final Cut voice isolation feature. I have a fan here running on high, and I'll play it with the fan noise, no voice isolation, the noise reduction, the older feature from Final Cut, and the new voice isolation feature. So I really like the look of the Wemo switches. And again, they're the second most economical option. Links to all of these switches will be in the video description. You can check those out there. 
So I really like the look of the Wemo switches, and again, they're the second most economical option. Links to all of these switches will be in the video description. You can check those out there. So I really like the look of the Wemo switches, and again, they're the second most economical option. Links to all of these switches will be in the video description. You can check those out there. All right, here's one more test. I'm actually playing some construction sounds on my HomePod speakers, pretend like I'm on a city street, and we'll run this audio raw, and then we'll try the noise reduction feature from Final Cut. And then the new voice isolation feature that's new in Final Cut 10.6.2. All right, here's one more test. I'm actually playing some construction sounds on my HomePod speakers, pretend like I'm on a city street. And we'll run this audio raw, and then we'll try the noise reduction feature from Final Cut. And then the new voice isolation feature that's new in Final Cut 10.6.2. All right, here's one more test. I'm actually playing some construction sounds on my HomePod speakers, pretend like I'm on a city street. And we'll run this audio raw, and then we'll try the noise reduction feature from Final Cut. And then the new voice isolation feature that's new in Final Cut 10.6.2. So that's just a quick look at the new voice isolation feature in Final Cut. Again, you have to update to 10.6.2, but you should have that feature once you update. Try it out. If you usually have an environment where you've had to do de-verbing or noise reduction, Try this voice isolation feature. It sounds really good. I think it sounds a lot more natural than the noise removal tool. Just overall, I think it's awesome. So awesome update to Final Cut. Also, if you have a Mac Studio, let me know how your performance has been, maybe prior and post this Final Cut update in 10.6.2. I also use Compressor. If you wanna make a video on some of the settings that I use there, let me know in the comments. But I found that Compressor performance is a lot better as well. So if you learned something today, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I got a ton of content about podcasting. I got iPhone tips in the shorts of this channel. Also even how to build a website videos. That's all there. You can also follow me on Twitter at Steven Robles. Shoot your questions to me there. Love to hear what you would like to see here on the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.